A petition written by Michael Servetus in prison. Honored sirs, I am being held prisoner on the instigation of John Calvin, who has charged me unjustly, saying that I have written, 1. That souls were mortal, and also, 2. That Jesus Christ only got a quarter of his body from the Virgin Mary. These are horrible and detestable things. Of all heresies and all crimes, there is none so heinous as making the soul mortal, because with all the others there is hope of salvation, but none at all with this one. Whoever says this does not believe that there is a God, or justice, or resurrection, or Jesus Christ, or Holy Scripture, or anything at all, only that everything is dead, and man and beast are one and the same thing. If I had said that, and not only said it, but written it for all to see, to defile the world, I would sentence myself to death. For which reason, Monsieurs, I request that my bogus prosecutor be punished according to the Lex Teliones, and that he be held prisoner, like me, until such time as the case is decided by a ruling for either his death or mine, or some other sentence. And to this end, I hereby bring a charge against him according to the aforementioned Lex Telones, and I am willing to die if he is not proven guilty, as much for this as for other things which I will describe later. I ask you for justice, my lords, justice, 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 written in this prison of Geneva on 22 September 1553, Michael Servetus pleading his own case. Points that Michael Servetus demands John Calvin be cross-examined on. 1. Whether in the month of March last he made Guillaume de Tree write to Lyons saying many things about Michael Villanovanus, known as Servetus, what was the content of the letter, and what was the intention behind it? 2. Whether with the same letter he sent half of the first gathering of the said Servetus' book, where there was the title and the index, or table, and part of the beginning of said book, entitled Christianismi Restituto. 3. Whether all of this was not sent to be seen by the officials in Lyons in order to bring a charge against the said Servetus, which is what subsequently happened. 4. Whether about fifteen days after the said letter he sent once again by means of the same tree more than twenty letters in Latin which the same Servetus had written to him and sent them, as the people over there had requested so that the said Servetus might be more certainly be charged and proven guilty, which is what subsequently happened. 5. Whether afterwards he did not hear that on account of the aforementioned charge the said Servetus was burnt in effigy and his possession seized and would have been burnt in reality if he had not escaped from prison. 6. Whether he does not know very well that it is in no way the job of a minister of the gospel to be a criminal prosecutor or to institute legal proceedings against a man which could result in his death. Monsieurs, there are four weighty and infallible reasons why Calvin should be sentenced to death. The first is that the matters of doctrine are not liable to a criminal charge, as I have shown you in my petitions and will show you more fully, using the ancient doctors of the church, for which reason he has greatly abused the criminal justice system and has acted contrary to the job of a minister of the gospel. The second reason is that he is a bogus prosecutor, as this piece of writing shows you and as will be easily proved by reading my book. The third is that by trivial and libellous arguments, he wants to suppress the truth of Jesus Christ, as will be demonstrated to you by reading our writings, because there are serious untruths there and malice. The fourth reason is that for the most part, he follows the doctrine of Simon Magnus against all the doctors who are ever in the church, for which reason, like the magician that he is, he should not only be sentenced to death, but should be banished and driven out of your city and his possession should be awarded to me in compensation for mine, which he has made me lose, which request, monsieurs, I put before you, written on the above date, etc., Michael Servetus pleading his own case.